So I guess that my question is, as you look at these bikes, these old boxer twins, is that when you rev them up and they're on the kickstand, they will lift themselves on the kickstand, and the way the crankshaft works. So the question that we've all been wondering is, what does that feel like on the track? That's hands down one of the most simple but well thought out questions I've heard in a long time. When you race a boxer twin, okay, the crank spins to the right, so when you sit there and rev it, it torques like a big block. And clockwise tracks like Barber are, are, are the best for a boxer because the crank spins to the right under load. But left-handers, not as easy. It's a good challenge. So when you come to a track that's predominantly counterclockwise, you actually have to, if you choose to race a boxer, number one, no concessions. Don't make excuses. You volunteer for it. Number two, understand that it's as aerodynamic as a UPS truck, but the soul that the boxer and, and, the, and the, the, the self, you know, the gratitude that, that the bike gives you, all I got to say is you ride left-hand turns like a leader bike. You actually have to square off corners, and you take right-handers like a 600. So to answer your question, you actually have to do the same race like two different bikes. But really the biggest challenge, and I accept this challenge, and that's why I've done it for years, is the gearing. People don't truly understand it's not about ground clearance. Proper body position, you'll clear the heads and you won't drag the engine on the ground. It's actually the gearing. I only have two choices of gearing, tall and short, and two tire sizes. So I take the internal transmission gears, the final drive, and the tire sizes, and that's what dictates how well you go around the track. So there you go, man. I love racing the boxer.